It was comfortable, it was convincing, and the Cats controlled the Akron Zips on Saturday at the Jar. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats. Rob Cornelius joins us. Final score, 66-50, to Ohio with the win over the Akron Zips. And from start to finish, this was Ohio's game. Yeah, strong night, very strong night. Defensively, Ohio held Akron scoreless for seven minutes or so of the first half after their first bucket. And then late first half, seven more minutes where they really locked them up and never let the lead go below 11 in the second half as they ran away with it. Bobcats now 19-8 and 9-5 and of the Mid-American Conference. You look at the stats sheet and you see three players in double figures. John Smith with his second career double-double, his second double-double in the last four games. 16 points and 12 rebounds. Yeah, and seemingly a season record, or at least a game record for dunks you'll see in these highlights. But he had a heck of a game, career best. Nick Kellogg and Travis Wilkins were the the other two in double figures. Ohio not playing full strength because of a variety of injuries. Stevie Taylor played limited minutes. Of course, Ricardo Johnson has been lost for the year. TJ Hall is battling some injury issues. Maurice Endor is too. Yes, Akron is without a lot of key parts, but the Bobcats had to manage this ball game as well, and they did it very well. Yeah, you got through Maurice being ordinary, you got through Nick Kellogg not being on the floor with foul trouble, but Ohio managed perfectly. The other players that were stars for the Zips that they still had, Quincy Diggs, and Demetrius Treadwell. Yeah, they got their points at the end. They did get into double figures, but they weren't impactful, and Ohio locked them down defensively because they threw up a lot of shots that didn't go down. Yeah, Diggs and Treadwell combined to go 7 of 30 at one point. Treadwell, a guy who's on an 8-foot basket tether, was 1 of 12 shooting the ball. Great Ohio defense in the post. Ohio was up by 16 at halftime. They win it by 16. Here's how it looked and sounded at the jar. Willis back over to the right side, hesitation dribble, drives all the way in deep, throws a pocket left to Wilkins for three, bang, for Travis Wilkins. Man, has he been locked in. It's a long reach, and now Treadwell, foul line right, it's an air ball with the shot. Rebound out long, Smith tracks it down right sideline, cats with numbers, Willis to an alley-oop stop for John Smith. Oh yeah, that rocked the rim. Does do, off of the inbounds, deflected by Kellogg at the timeline. Runs away from Diggs, and he flipped it in low on the right, and Ohio's running away from the zips early. 12-2 and listen to the Bobcat fans at the jar. Willis with 10 to shoot, left angle. Head and shoulder fake on Pat Forsythe, the big who checked into the ball game. Trank Setti, baseline, right jumper, all string for Setti. Long lob into the post, Endor catches amongst traffic. Little bounce further into the post for a behind the back, two hand rim rock for John Smith. Yeah, 18-8 Cats. Willis, he put Tayo out on him. Off a curl, it's Wilkins, left elbow jumper, yes sir, and Wilkins is Perfect in three attempts tonight. In the circles behind a hard screen from Smith all the way in deep. Gets through to the right side. Hall for three. Back iron no good. Smith got the rebound above everybody. One dribble goes up and banked at home. John Smith and the Cats are ruling the jar. It's now six. Evans on the right side to five. Ball thrown away. Bean Willis stole it. Runs down the lane to the goal and he laid it in. And the Cats are on top by 16 at the jar. Left digs for three off the back iron no good. Rebound out long. Starts a break. John Smith. Smith, look out to the rim, two hand, flying dunk. Ohio confidently into the front court. Hall on the right side, pops into the post. One dribble, Maurice. Reverse layup with a kiss. Yes, Ohio back up by 17. Is into the front court, Endor, long step to the goal. Back to the bucket, missed the layup, follow flush by John Smith. Double team on, they throw to Smith beyond the arc on the right side. Eight to shoot, seven to shoot. Left wing, Wilkins for three, bang. Good night. Top, stolen away. Willis runs for Kellogg to Smith, who rocks the rim with two hands. And that is an emphatic way to say so long to your rival. So now Ohio is a win away from 20 on the season overall and one win away from 10 in Mid-American Conference play. The Bobcats host the Buffalo Bulls coming up on Wednesday night. That's the first of the Final Four and probably the toughest. Yeah, he really is. And the biggest load to handle their senior their senior forward, Javon McRae, went for, I believe, 31 and 10 today against Kent. He's a monster. He's going to drive your team into foul trouble. How Ohio handles him will determine how the game goes with the guys in blue. And the Bobcats beat the Bulls again in Western New York not that long ago. Go. The rematch comes quickly. McCray's the big one there. It's Green Fever on Wednesday night. Click around here on OhioBobcats.com at a backslash or forward slash, forward slash Green Fever to find out more details on that. Then Senior Day comes up against Kent State on Saturday. Four games left and still a lot to be decided. No, and a lot can happen. A lot of movement among the top six teams as possible. Ohio trying to get, though, into those buy bids in the top four or even better still the top two. This was a lot of fun. Great day. Best day we've had in this building in a very 
very, very long time. Yep, he's Rob Cornelius. I'm Russ Eisenstein repeating today's final score. Ohio wins it 66-50 to over the Akron Zips. Good night from the jar. This is Bobcat TV.